Hi everyone, this is Giovanni, also known as CryptoJoe101 on Twitter, and today I'm going to be talking about Argus NFT. Argus NFT is an AI-powered NFT fake detection platform. Um, basically, Argus NFT inspects all the NFT minted on uh, Cardano, and uh, by inspecting the minting history, tries to uh, find out, thanks to the machine learning algorithm, whether an NFT is an original or is a copy. And we do so by uh, observing the minting history and checking whether or not the, um, the digital asset, the digital content associated with an NFT, that could be an image, music, or whatever, has been minted for the very first time on the blockchain or has been minted further, uh, further after. Um, obviously, um, there are cases in which uh, the algorithm is right, and so we can clearly distinguish between um, an original, so the first time something was minted, from a potential copy, something that was um, uh, minted afterwards. Uh, there can be errors, so it means that whether or not you're using Argus NFT to define authenticity of uh, an NFT before purchasing it, we recommend you to do your own due diligence because we take no responsibility if you use Argos NFT before purchasing an NFT and, and eventually this NFT turns to be a fake, we assume no responsibility. It's your responsibility, your decision, whether or not to purchase uh, an NFT and it's your, it must be your due diligence uh, to uh, um, double check and verify that the policy ID associated to an NFT is original or not. I'm going to be doing a little bit of a demo. I'm going to be explaining how to check uh, for policy IDs, but this is just an example again. This is al always and eventually only your responsibility. Uh, before proceeding, I also want to say that I am the stakeable operator of the Easy One Stakeable. So if you like what you're seeing today and you want to support the development of Argos NFT, please, 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 please delegate to the Easy One Stakeable. Now, all the rewards that are collected by me, the stakeable operator, will be used to grow the platform further. Um, obviously, everything that I'm going to show you today, whether it is a, um, a collection, whether if it is an NFT, uh, I am not endorsing or uh, uh, suggesting, recommending to join any of the community or buy any of these NFTs. This is just an example. Um, so please um, do not follow, do not take this as a, a financial advice or a recommendation or whatever. I just have to start from somewhere. And a couple of nights ago, I was on a Twitter space uh, run by... Uh, um, uh, uh, women in Cardano, Cardano women, and they were having uh, the Goat Tribe as hosts. This is their Twitter account. Uh, it was a lovely conversation, very inclusive, very uh, very calm, uh, very interesting as well. So I decided um, to take a look at the fake on-chain fake situations of uh, the Goats. I took their um, uh, Linktree account and I went on their Discord. This is the, um, the policy ID page from uh, the Discord. And you can see that there is a long list of five policy IDs that have been used to mint uh, goats. Um, and so I decided to do a little bit of uh, an investigation and query against Argus NFT. And I have uh, found out about uh, six or seven uh, fakes. And we are going, possibly fakes, obviously, and we are going to analyze them together. The first NFT that I want to analyze is the following one. So first of all, uh, we go on the, on the pool PM URL and you can see that here there is the policy ID that is specified here is the 206C651. That's the last one down here, 206C651. So technically we are in the presence here or a legitimate authentic NFT at least as it is stated on the official channel of the God tribe. So how can we check if there are copies of this NFT? We can go on Argos NFT and we can put the URL straight here. We tick the, 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 the check to accept the terms and condition that I'm going to be summarizing very briefly and says that if you're using this tool and the tool is wrong and you eventually buy an NFT, we assume no responsibility over it. We are just like a giving uh, suggestions and um, not uh, um, giving like the hard decision whether or not an NFT is authentic. So we click on verify and after a few seconds, you will see that the system will reply. This NFT is original, total copies for again. The one that we are searching is this one, so 206651. And we have found uh, four potential candidates for fakes. So let's open again the original one. We put it here on the right. And then we open one of the candidate fakes and we can do a little bit of a comparison so we can understand uh, whether what we are seeing is 
uh, looks like a fake or something. So this is what is supposed to be the original 206651. This is what is supposed to be the copy. As you can see, the image is exactly the same. Um, the first one, the one that's supposed to be an original, has some additional information here. The second one has no additional information and this very weird GT5 PNG that seems to be like the name of the image. Um, obviously, uh, this really means seems like uh, this is uh, the original as stated into the, um, the Discord channel, while this one seems to be a copy. The next one that I would like to analyze is the following one. I've preloaded the page already, so to move a little bit faster, uh, this is the one that is supposed to be the original, while this one is supposed to be one of the copies. Let's do a quick analysis of this one as well. Uh, here, the policy ID is again 206C651. This one is not, obviously. Uh, we can see this time some traits and attributes and still this 2PNG, but while the image is the same, uh, everything else makes us believe that this is a fake. The last that I want to analyze is the following one, and we have this time a different collection. The collection is a C2819, C2819. Obviously, the one that has been detected as a copy is not. This is ADD50. Even Pool PM recommends us, suggests us that this could be a fake. The image is the same. We have attributes here. We have attributes there as well. This time the attributes seems too much. So this is a much better crafted fake. Uh, but uh, we have the policy is not the correct one. This has been minted after 19th of October, while this one was minted on same day, but potentially after just a few minutes after actually. If we take a brief look at the policy ID here, ADD50, and we go check on the marketplaces, unfortunately we see that this very same GOAT, ADD50, is for sale on CNFT.io. Now, nothing against CNFT.io, it's, it's really hard to uh, skim and remove all those NFTs from, uh, from, uh, from a marketplace. But CNFT does an exceptional work in uh, informing the customers to make um, uh, proper decisions. They say, this policy ID has, has not been verified before, and you need to double check that this thing is legitimate before purchasing. So CNFT does the best job in uh, communicating with the customers and say, as we're telling you now, to do your own due diligence, go on the official channels, your official uh, uh, pages of the project and double check that the policy ID is the correct one uh, so that you can make like a, um, a, a proper decision on whether to, or not to buy uh, uh, this NFT. Um, obviously, um, one of the things that we're working on is to uh, extend the project and the one thing that we want to do is to integrate with marketplaces. We are in talk with uh, a couple of market marketplaces on Cardano and we want to try to bring these capabilities to the system so that we can make even stronger recommendations to, um, to the community members. Obviously, again, uh, while we can make recommendations or suggestions, that doesn't mean to take our word for granted. So you need to be uh, 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 sure and double check and verify that everything that we are saying is actually correct. So. Um, especially if you get the warning, double check that the policy ID is actually uh, correctly registered and uh, listed on the official uh, communication channels of the project you're purchasing. So if you're a member of the Go Tribe and you like this um, video, uh, smash a like button, and like, retweet, uh, comment, let me know what you think about this. Um, if you're a member of another community, please let me know which community is that, if you want me to make an on-chain on analysis of any other uh, community. Uh, project NFT, uh, how many copies there are, uh, so on and so forth, if you're a member of the Chill Kong, or um, unsigned, if you are um, a lover like me of the Space Buds, let me know in the comments, let me know which is the next collection you want me to analyze, and I'm going to do something similar to this one. Thank you very much, have a great day, and uh, see you the next time.